Hi, my name's Ashley and I'm from Taylor Taylor London. Today I'm at the Dorchester and we're going to be trying out some bridal hair. This is my lovely bride-to-be, Marie. When are you getting married, Marie? Next summer in France. Oh, lovely. So the first look we're going to do is a vintage updo. So stage one, I'm going to prep with hairspray and curl the hair. So what you want to aim to do is all your curls to face the same way so that when you brush it out, all the waves will go in the same direction. Okay, so stage two, now that I've curled all the hair, we're gonna prep it again with some hairspray to make sure those curls stay in nice and tight. And then we're gonna do a little bit of backcombing through the crown and brush through the curls to make some beautiful waves. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of backcombing through here so that you get a nice curve to the back of the head. So you lift the hair and then just gently brush down to the roots. So next, what you want to do is leave this side out because we're going to do all of this part of the hair into a little bun first. So I finished stage two with back combing and brushing through the hair. Now I'm going to smooth the hair around into a pony to the nape of the neck just behind the ear. And we're going to leave this front section out to do last so we can make some beautiful waves. So now with the ponytail, you want to create a bit of rosette. So you can be quite freehand with this. It's almost like pinning it round in a figure of eight. I'm going to use some bobby pins first, just to secure the hair. So you want to try and go in and under so that you can anchor the hair in nice and tight. With this section of hair that you've left out now, we want to just create some soft waves and keep it really nice and loose. So just very gently brush over so that you don't disturb the curls too much. So what you want to try and do is not have any kind of part here, so try and make that as seamless as possible when you bring the hair back. So now I'm going to use a split pin, which are good for anchoring the hair, but they don't hold it in too tight. I'm going to twist the end of this bit of hair around the rosette that you've already created. So to finish the look, I'm going to use this beautiful Jenny Packham hair slide. It just gives a little accent to the hair. This is especially lovely if you don't want to wear a veil. So there you have the finished look with a vintage inspired updo. How does that feel, Maria? It's amazing. It looks so good. <laughs> it will go really well with my dress. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you.